Alright, um, I'm guessing we have to sleep now. I have no idea what else we're supposed to do. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Or not. Is there a surveillance camera? A surveillance camera? I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess around with the camera, so I better not make, make sure I don't touch it. Alright. What about this lamp? Nothing? Okay. Is there anything upward? What's that, uh... Oh, that means I can't control the camera any further, I'm guessing. I thought that means, like, the cam camera's not seeing me right now, but never mind. Is there anything else I missed? What else I missed? Was that- what's that? Oh, it's just a white bin. A plant? <laughs> no, I already examined- What the hell do I do? Also, why is the fuck's my bed like? Can I like move the bed somewhere else? It feels very uncomfortable for me to have the bed here and the desk here of all things. It does seem like a very good desk. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be my room. <laughs> Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be... Alright, so sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Even during class? <laughs> this is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. That question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. But I don't know the fucking time! Can't really get out of here because the door's locked. I guess I could use a toolkit to... Wait, no, it said cannot lock... Oh, okay, I'll leave the area. I really do want to know what the time is, and I'm afraid... I rushed out of the room to meet with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Fuck, are you still bullying me or something? Or, oh, it's a woman, never mind. Sorry! Are you okay? Oh. S sorry are you okay? Can I sound any more pathetic than I already am? I hope you're okay. Okay. Sorry about that. No, I'm the one that kind of bumped the fucking door on your head. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I, I know how I look, but I've actually built up pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Monado, <laughs> Monado, Mondo hit you. That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess revealing my lack of cool right from the be I guess I revealed my lack of cool from the be beginning. Makoto? Oh, um, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. So thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um, Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well... If you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After he got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided to do would be more e effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get back together and talk about what we e we each find out. Ah, goddamn. So does that mean that it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet up with the dining- Wait, where's the dining hall? Tell me where the dining hall is! Uh... Map? Oh, come on! I- Really? My room is next to this asshole? Shit! Uh, also, goddammit, I'm... Stra- Not strafing. Yakuya. <laughs> I like these 8-bit renditions. Sayaka. Ooh, we're next to each other in the dormitories. That's... So, there's no, like, guy or girl dormitories? We kind of, like, share the same area, I guess? Toko, Chihiro, Celeste, 
Owie. Was she again? Was she the swimmer? <laughs> she has a really fucked up hairstyle from what I'm seeing. Um, help. Oh, circles to run. So, alright. I gotta get accustomed to the rooms, I think. So I'm like literally at the end of the goddamn hall. That's. Uh, of course, the fat guy gets the fucking closest. What's this one? What's this place? Everyone's meeting up in the dining hall. I should meet. Get there myself. Well, okay. I'm guessing that's like the garbage hall or something. Alright, where's the fucking dining hall? There's a bathroom there. Do I need to go? This is the boys' bathroom. I'll have to make sure I'll remember it's here. In case I need to go. And that's the girls' bathroom. This is the girls' bathroom. It's not really that all that useful for me. Unless, for certain reasons. Oh, there's also what? Wait, hold on. Kyoko. Kiyotaka. Oh, there's shit. There's more rooms here. Makoto. Mondo. Wait, huh? Wait, whoa, 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 Mondo. What? Huh? Sayaka. What? Huh? Did I just back? What the fuck? Toka. Huh? Wait the fuck. I'm. Oh, shit. I'm back here. I just basically backtracked. Myself or something. Oh god. All right. Okay. I'll. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, wow. This is really confusing. Okay. So is this a dining hall? Everyone's meeting up in the dining hall. I should head there myself. I'm guessing that's not the dining hall. All right. Um. I'm guessing the one that has the food icon is the dining hall. Bath. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Uh, everyone's meeting in the dining hall. What time is it right now? That's something I really want to know. Well, considering it's now it's not nighttime yet. Uh. I think I should be fine, right? It's really only fucking... You're not gonna murder me, are you? Um... It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Um... I guess that's not really important right now. With us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Or you're a fucking psychic and you're not telling the truth, bitch. <laughs> Is that really just intuition? When purple words show up, if you press the triangle button, you'll go into reaction mode. Reaction! Oh, you're familiar with- No, 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 no! Well, just, wait, huh? Oh, okay. At this point, you can use the directional buttons to make selection. Press the X button to confirm. Also, when it comes to the dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about. To so, for more info, talk to someone call reaction. Do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. Reaction! Ah, so you've gone ahead and get used to it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep in mind about the story that's going on. Okay, so that's kind of like my hold it kind of pose, I'm guessing. Is Ayaka really the only one here? I'm kind of concerned now. Alright, let's uh, start by talking to her. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> continuing our self-introductions. Yeah, she uh, said something before, right? Um, we kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Are you going to tell me what it is? Hey, um, By the way, Makoto... Um, Fuck me, okay, so... What do you want me to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were, were you maybe in Class 2? Yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too, I was in Class 4 though, do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school she was as... She was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her questioning, as her question was, that she remembered me. <laughs> we never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... hey uh, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. 
We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were a lot of students our grade, right? Plus, I would never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average in everything, at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S -s strange? That's... <laughs> she started to giggle even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart... grow calmer? I'd be fucking freaked out as hell. I don't know what the fuck you're... You, I, you are fucking strange, Makoto. You are fucking strange. Her smile is just the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's to deceive you! She's really a cold-blooded killer! Watch your fucking ass, Makoto! That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. You're awfully being very goddamn... Nice to me. Okay, what Kool-Aid did you drink? Tell me, you don't mind, don't worry, I can keep secrets. No, I'm, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all your ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become... I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Okay. My assistant? Yep. I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. Yeah, 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 you're, you're gonna be crazy. Oh, she's definitely a murderer. She, I think she wants us to collaborate and kill... Wait, no, that won't work because if we're discovered by other people... In order for that to... That's not gonna happen. Collaboration not, is out of the question. If we're trying to kill other people, that's not how that's gonna work because... Each of us would actually know each other's plan, therefore already ruining the rule set. So, the fact that we already have a collaboration, that in itself already fucks up the plan. So, I guess you could help me with solving other crimes or something, but... Uh, when she says things like that, it... It just gets me... Makoto, you're, you're easily manipulated, you know that? Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock somewhere. Oh, there it is. I just noticed. Hello. What does that say? NOTHING! Um, uh, so, what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night?! Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without... Being able to look out a window, I have lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like I... Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So, you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was able to beat... E too bad. I was sure I... I was sure I beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up! Next time, I swear, I will win no matter what it takes! Justice shall be prevailed! <laughs> That's a bit too much, don't you think? Yeah, okay, we got our Power Rangers group here. We got Makoto, Sayaka... That guy. Everyone else came and strolling one after another. After a few minutes, everyone all gathered to the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Alright. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Unless it's impossible to get out of here. Without killing people, of course, and not getting caught. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. Oh, what about, um, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? <gasps> oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? Yeah! Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I had little John in my mind every time he says what, but whatever. Um, I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anybody seen her? I don't know what your voice is, so, uh, I'm just gonna roll with whatever I got. But everyone was shocked their heads. 
Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoningly, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how do you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's that simple. Well, first off, we got 15 members in total. If we only have 14 members, that means whatever she's do <gasps> Or maybe she's the one that's dead. Wait, if she's the one that's... Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, this ain't more tense then. All right, then. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she also didn't tell anyone she would be late. And mo a most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything! Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Peak Academy briefing machine has starts! I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? What the fuck have you done, lady? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. Uh, you are creepy as fuck. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. Uh, alright, um, let's talk to Peter Griffin here. I know he has a name, but I don't care. Uh, how the fuck do I talk to him? Can I even talk to him? Really? I... I'm here to investigate on other people, maybe... I guess, okay. All information present, gimme. Okay, so since you're in the dark about this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see... Byakya and Taka went off on their own. And so did Kyoko. So, okay, so... Let me... Let me try to remember who Bia- uh, okay, so Byakuya is the, the guy, the smartass, and Taka is- hold on. Let me try to remember. Oop, no, not present. Taka. Taka. Where are you, Taka? I see Toko, but not Taka. Who the fuck's Taka? I'm gonna interrogate you on that. Who the fuck's Taka? You're t oh, Kiyotaka. Derp. <laughs> I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There! I made the discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person! You know, I... Is that really your discovery? <sighs> well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already? Huh. And each room key is attached to the keychain, with the owner's name precision etched into it. Confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus... And Chihiro and I found out that- who the fuck is she- Oh yeah, she's the uh, programmer, right? I think. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next door neighbor. Your next door neighbor- Well... Uh, your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't be able to hear a thing. <laughs> Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But, alright. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorm. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door, it was definitely seems like it was... Oh, very funny, you Kuma, whatever, door, door, fucking, door, Kuma. Just because I have a girl's name don't mean I am a girl, alright? That's weird, I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they've got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have them... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Better to have them than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. So we'll have to wait and see. Th that could... That can be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor S. Student? Got it! That's all my report! Let's move on to our- fuck. God damn it, okay. So, uh, you're useless. Alright. What about Biakar, if you're willing to cooperate? Oop, wrong one. 
I wanted to try and find out some clues on who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Wow, you're actually more useless than fucking Taka here! Nice going, douche! Really? That's it! Hm. If I uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I won't. R right, understood! So yeah, you're useless. I'm not even sure you guys could hear me from there, but uh, hopefully you guys can. Alright, so did Kyoko. Kyoko's not here, unfortunately, so... It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. What are you four have to say? We went all up and down that school, double-checking the windows and all of the hallways and classes. We want to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. We couldn't get a single one to bulge even a little. What should I do? There wasn't any hope for escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 it really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. Can I have a dick? <laughs> what the hell are we gonna Take do? Uh, Goddamn, calm down. It's not to make me nervous. <laughs> Okay, Neely, you could have like the multiple personality kind of voice. You could be either a redneck, a metal singer, a smooth, sexy jazz singer, or whatever. I don't think I should be leaving. No, no, I don't want to. I want to interrogate even further. You see. All right. Same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. All right, Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about the giant hunk of metal. What? But even what? with Sakura and me both, we couldn't bulge. We hit it with the desk and the chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> This sucks. Anyways, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I, I have to hold on in. I have to manage my hydration. So okay. Bad. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with the communication with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there were a set of stairs leading up to another floor. What? But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search for the first floor. We can further assume that there was potentially something above the second floor as well. As if, and if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead us to wait out. Alright. Okay, so nothing on the second floor, at least, from our investigation so far. Toko. Shit, wrong button again. Fuck me! Mm, can I yep. skip? What? Yeah. I'm not sure if I can so skip dialogue or anything. It doesn't look like I can. I had to mash the A button and B button. Damn it! All right. Um, Let's not get cocky again. You see? All right. Triangle down. X. Let's see. I'm being honest. I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm having, giving her like an Asian accent now. I don't fucking know. Honestly, we are uh, we are not exactly the type of to go around in uh, a school like a graggle of a blah blah blah. What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I, I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. <laughs> If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something! <laughs> Forget it. Like, I wanna go anywhere with you, dirty slut like you. Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone we just met? Hey, come on. Oh, all right, guys. Everybody, just calm down, okay? We all this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now that you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... 
So, that's what they were saying, huh? Yeah. I guess I'm the only one left. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Can I go back to... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, well. Uh, sure. For now, but even with all that, there is 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you, you, you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Ha! Huh? What am I, a parakeet? God damn, even your eyeballs have balls. <laughs> look at this, look at God, seriously, that, those, his eyes needs to be goddamn censored. Same thing goes for his upper part of his mouth. And his nose. Someone censor blood. Barry, can you please censor those things? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food we get restocked automatically each day. At least, that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that this then uh, told me that then disappeared again. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... But... but was everything okay? He didn't like try to eat you or anything. <laughs> eat her! Seriously, someone really needs to censor that thing. <laughs> But what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, don't make that sound ever again, please. <laughs> um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say it eats, what kind of eating are we talking about? The one where you consume proteins? <gasps> what else do you mean by eating? <laughs> Come on, man! Bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some sort of sleazy drunk dude. Actually... Not like there's a good time to drink, dude! Hey! Stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here! We could all just die any second! Shit. She's right. We can't just be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... I guess Mokoto's now Batman now. <laughs> a voice cuts through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. I'm guessing this is... Miss Onamae Wog Chick. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? You! Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be the map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! More important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we are right now is laid out precisely the way Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're, say so what you're saying is, this really is P Hope's Peak it's Academy. True. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But... It looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However. I don't know all about the details yet. All I found was the details about the first floor. Um. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. <laughs> so stupid. It's... <laughs> oh, fuck. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn! But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> yeah, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look yep. so good. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak cut all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I get stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have an ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Nope. Good thing come... Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work out itself. Ha ha ha! What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? I am just happy. This is all. It seems like splitting up the investigation was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We d didn't find a way out didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Huh? Oh, it's not crystal clear to, to you what's else going on. Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some sort of secret location and no way out. 
none of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was starting to get staring at us right in the face. Y you didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about it. God damn, I feel like Toko's like the new sh Shaggy from Scooby-Doo or something. No way out! We're just trapped in here! What are we supposed to d d do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! D don't even joke about that! Everyone here, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... It's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? What are you saying? We should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survival ability. <laughs> God, you're creepy. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm... We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are, yeah, some areas are off limits at night. So please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. So we should just sleep right now, or what? So, regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will be all afraid someone might try to come and kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So, you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of prevalent measure? Mm -hmm. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I, I see what you mean, but I, I think I can agree on that. It's like the little goth Alita said, without something like that, we're just going to act, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to- You are not the, on the behalf of all the men. Also, why all the men? Why not all of us? What? I don't like how the way, the way the game is complying some sort of sexist motive between the divide between the male and the female students. That doesn't seem right to me. Anyways, hey, hey you, you can't just decide to speak for us. Fine. So everyone is on agreement, good, <laughs> da. <laughs> then, if you will excuse me... Huh? huh? Oh, wait, where are you going? It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left with the dining hall. Left the dining hall, not what the dining hall. Okay, her behavior seems so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone else even trying to stop her. Um... So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we are from here, right? We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. <laughs> um, well then, uh, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Like she said, it's almost night time anyways. We can reconvene once things tomorrow. Do you really think we have, to s we have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> This sucks. So, we have to just give up? <sighs> That's awful fine and good for today, but uh, what do we do for tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to sit up and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Oh fuck, did I accidentally press a the button? There we go. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> then, we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. <laughs> Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Uh, I see the room is still the same as ever. Really, where I'll be staying here for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check on the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it. It's no use, it really is locked. Ah! 
Bzz, wrong, not locked. What's her voice again, shit? HOLY CRAP! Jeez, talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Like, some sort of robot bear ghost? What are you doing here? Makoto Naigi, this is a super duper majorly bad, so bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! In point of the fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room it has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey! Um... Didn't you see the notice? What can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? So why have the locks on the girls' bathroom and not the boys' bathroom? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, it's not like it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert in the birds and the bees and all that. Anyways, there's a little trick to open this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, oh, okay, ready? So, you gotta pull the doorknob, then lift it up while you pull. Yes, Go ahead, try it. Turn the doorknob, lift the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't seem... Doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not so lucky at all. Bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it! Huh? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. So I can't like brush my teeth or anything? Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. Oh fuck, I need to go to the bathroom real quickly. <laughs> While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed onto the bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, it was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent my entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd be tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah. That feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Surviving Students 15. So, this is how the curtains close on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough. It would be too much to just hope that I, when I wake up, I'd realize it was all a dream. It's kind of a lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that best. Mona Kuma Theater, what? What's this all about? In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would have some kind of te- would be some kind of teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to find your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! I'm not gonna like this new tomorrow. I don't wanna go to church yet, mommy. I'm. <clears throat> Damn it. Alright. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Okay, so the doors are now... Apparently it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should just go find Sayaka and we can figure out where we could go to tier together. She did say she's my assistant now. Although, you are really one fucking gullible piece of shit, you know that, Makoto? Anyways, 
We'll be right back after uh, the next part. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dan Gun Global.